Welcome to a demonstration of the functions of the markup language LSML. Here you can see the program code that is currently being read out. But before we get into code, let's get to the basics first. LSML stands for Lecture Synthesis Markup Language, and is a language for defining lectures visually and audibly, as well as human and machine readable, in text form. LSML is based on the hierarchically structured markup language XML. Using XML as a basis offers some advantages, since it is widely used with many existing libraries. The biggest advantage, however, is that a language based on XML already exists, which allows speech synthesis. SSML, or Speech Synthesis Markup Language, was developed by the World Wide Web Consortium to define the pronunciation of texts. It is used by many text-to-speech services, which includes Amazon Polly and Google Cloud Text-to-Speech, which are integrated into Lecture.js. SSML already defines many elements that can be taken over by LSML. But since the text-to-speech services implement this standard only incompletely with some differences between each other, some elements must be adapted by LSML. Some elements are also too restricted or unfitting to be used in LSML, so they are removed. Some of these elements are replaced by new elements. In addition, there are also other new elements that control the visual aspects of the lecture. These include, for example, which slide is shown when, or which settings the video should have. The challenge here is to keep LSML as simple as possible and to avoid clutter to allow non-programmers to use the language. This table looks complicated, but don't worry. We will now take a short look at the most important functions of the language, and hopefully it will be much clearer. Each document starts with a lecture element. This is the root element and contains all other elements, as well as the text to be spoken. A deck element is also defined. This references a PDF document, which contains the set of slides for the lecture. Several sets of slides can be included, but there must always be at least one. Now you could already write your text and have it rendered as a video. The example here would look like this. This is spoken. As you will notice, it was automatically recognized that this was a sentence. But if that fails, you can explicitly define the paragraph with the P element and the sentence with the S element. But this is mostly unnecessary and the final product is often the same. This is spoken. You can change the page using the slide element. This element defines the relative or absolute page number, and the following text is spoken over the corresponding slide. You can also use this element to easily change the active slide deck. In this example, two sets of slides are loaded. The first slide set is active from the beginning and the second slide set is applied from line 8 onwards. This is spoken. This is spoken on page 2. This is spoken on page 1 of the second slide deck. To give structure to the presentation, you can also integrate markers, which can be used to optionally define chapters. This is the introduction. This is chapter 2. Of course you can also use different voices with the voice element. This makes it possible to simulate a dialogue for example. Hola como estas? Mir geht es gut. Danke für die Nachfrage. To make the spoken word more interesting, you can also manually insert pauses and emphasize certain segments as in this example. Let's listen to it. A pause is inserted. There. And this sentence is strongly emphasized. There are several ways to correct the mispronunciation of words. For example, there is the sub-element, which allows to define an alias. In the code example, the acronym AB is defined. However, the alias Alpha Beta is spoken instead. Alpha Beta Of course you can also give the written text additional context with the Sayers element. This element defines how its content should be interpreted. In this example, 
The program is instructed to pronounce the numbers as single digits instead of saying 123. 123. LSML also allows the insertion of other resources, not only slides. For example, it is possible to insert your own videos with LSML. In the following example, a video is played for 3 seconds. In addition to slides, you can of course also embed images directly into the video. With this code snippet here, an example image is shown. This is an example image. That was the demonstration of LSML. Of course there is more, but hopefully this is still a good overview. I just leave you with a little melody. <laughs>